guys hey welcome to another episode of a film life vlog for this episode I want to um, talk a little bit about this beautiful lens that I shot with on my uh, Pentax A3000 camera the last time I did a showcase of this uh, beautiful camera if you haven't seen that episode uh, do click on it there'll be a link right up there it will just pop up just click on it and you can add it to your playlist so for today I want to talk about this particular lens which is a Pentax SMC 28 millimeter f 2.8 lens right here now this lens here is a pancake lens look at how low of a profile it has and I found it to be really perfect to work on a camera like this because this camera itself as I talked about in the review it is pretty um, flat as you can see it's actually quite compact this camera so I wanted a lens uh, that would be compact as well so it doesn't look too odd I mean uh, the proportions I found to be quite perfect and also the fact that this is a 28 millimeter lens and by the way 28 millimeter on a full frame camera like this is pretty awesome excellent excellent for landscape photography you're going to see some of the photos that I took and just really, really excellent. I'm going to divide this review into a few categories. Um, the first category that I should talk about, obviously, is the sharpness of this lens. Um, this lens is really, really sharp. I found it to be extremely sharp. Um, no complaints when it comes to sharpness. The lens itself is composed of seven elements. The next category is the ease of use. I was actually quite happy with it. I didn't have any issues. The only thing that you should note is that this lens is notorious. If you look carefully at the inscriptions for the aperture just look at the aperture ring right there this lens is notorious for having these half stops and full stop clicks between the main inscriptions on the aperture ring just listen to the click right like right there between f8 and f11 there's a stop right there then there's another one and right there so what it means is that when you're working out in the field, when you're shooting, uh, you have to pay close attention to um, what exactly your setting is. Um, for me, I didn't find that to be an issue at all because um, once I set my aperture, uh, gosh, I've, I've shot I've shot film cameras for quite a bit of time, so I, th I guess I've developed the, the senses, the spidey senses. I sort of know that if it's really bright out, you use a Sunny 16 rule, and um, if it's not so bright, F8, if it's kind of really dark like sunset, I will open the aperture up closer to the maximum. Um, if it's super bright, super, like really super bright, then you go towards um, F16 or F22. Um, and this lens only stops down to F22, okay? So that is the smallest aperture you can get, F22. So if it's a really, really, really bright, um, you may have to use uh, setting filters to actually reduce the amount of light going through so that your camera especially because these film cameras oftentimes they have a maximum shutter speed of uh, fastest shutter speed of about uh, one one thousandth of a second that's this one in particular so you use certain filters like an ND filter or a polarizing filter like this one that I have here um, you just put it on to reduce the amount of light coming through and that will help you to bring your shutter speed within the right range. Now this lens is um, it's not an automatic focusing lens, it's a manual focusing lens. However, automatic cameras like this particular one that I have here can still read the aperture setting from this lens. And so um, when I attach a lens like this to a camera like this, then this camera, which is uh, typically a fully program mode camera, will switch into an aperture priority mode camera. 
And what that means is that the camera is now reading the aperture and then now setting the shutter speed to match the aperture so that you get the right exposure. I found that to be extremely, extremely nice. Working with this lens is awesome. I would say I loved it. The focusing ring here, it doesn't feel too uh, smooth. It doesn't feel too uh, stiff either. I find that it's just the right sort of feel. It may be a little bit on the strong side. And so what that means is that if you're focusing on something, um, it, it's actually quite nice. If it's too loose, then you may lose the focus once you wiggle things around a bit. Uh, but because it's quite firm, um, I find that it works nicely. Uh, the clicks on this it's pleasing to me. It's not annoying at all. Now let's talk about the rendering of color for this lens. This lens gave me some really punchy, punchy, punchy colors, as you guys will be seeing uh, in the pictures that I'll share with you very shortly. It just produces very saturated colors, I found. Um, the blue hues were very saturated. I didn't think that was a problem. I, I enjoyed the pictures that I got from this. I thought they were pretty nice photos, very pleasing to the eye. So the colors are very punchy. The images that you'll get with this lens, just really punchy colors as you will see. Um, when it comes to aberrations in terms of distortions, maybe color, even color shifts, I didn't quite notice too much of that. Viral distortions, it's been said that when this uh, lens is used uh, fully open, you may notice uh, some barrel distortions, you may notice some softer edges. Um, I didn't notice anything like that, to be honest. And as you see from the examples that I'm going to share, even for buildings, I took a lot of photos of buildings and the lines that I got were very straight, not distorted. So that gave me a lot of confidence about this lens. Overall, I love this lens, guys. I, I really enjoyed uh, shooting with this uh, lens. And I would totally enc encourage anybody out there that's looking for a wide angle lens, um, certainly look out for a lens like this. I think you will not be disappointed. So at this point, I'm going to share some images that I shot with this beautiful, beautiful lens right here. looking at those images if you enjoyed watching this video why don't you leave this video a like just give the like button down there some above and if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe until the next time guys I hope you have a wonderful day and as always 
stay safe. Thank you.